Hello, back again. I'm going to show you how to install the alternative uh, TV head end GUI if you're running a Libre, say on a Raspberry Pi. It's not too uh, complicated to do, you just need to add, uh, say, three folders within Libre for it to work. Let me just open a browser. So, the other day I found a GitHub by Dave P, who's the uh, developer of the uh, say the alternative GUI on the github it's got all the information and you can see it's it's still being updated let me just scroll down to installation there's a couple of ways you can install it I'll just show you the way I do it right where it says alternatively copy the file I'm going to highlight this text all the way, all the way up to a uh, dot zip. I'm just going to right click on. Uh, I'm just going to right click on it and go to. I'm going to go into my downloads and then click save. Only takes a few seconds to download. Right, I'm just going to go into my downloads folder. And there's a file we just downloaded. So I'm going to right click. I use 7-zip. And I'm going to extract to. And that's done. What I'm going to do is right click on it and rename it. And you want to remove the dash master. So it just says JS at the end. So you've got your folder and it just says JS at the end. Right, we're going to be using a bit of software called WinSCP to move the folder over to the Raspberry Pi. It's free to use. I'm going to add a new site. Host name is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, which you're running Libre on. So mine's 192.168.1.194. A uh, username is root. And the password is a password you set up when you turned on uh, SSH, when you first set up Libre. I'm gonna click on save. Then save in the drop down, and I'm going to save password and click OK. Now I'm going to log in. Right, first thing you want to do, you make sure you want to be in root of the SD card plugged into the Raspberry Pi. And one thing you've got to do as well, the folders we need to access are hidden, so we need to go into preferences. And then you will see panels. And you want to uh, tick the box where it says show hidden files. That needs to be ticked. And then OK. Right, so I'm going to go into storage. And you see they're slightly lighter color. It means they're normally hidden. So I'm going to go into Kodi. And then add-ons. And then we got service TV head end 42. That's the folder we need. Right, so I'm going to click on uh, new and then directory. I'll just open my text document. The first one is going to be named src just going to copy it right click and paste and then ok right so that's the first one now we need to go into that folder and the same again new directory open your text document again and then we've got web ui just going to copy it 
and rename the folder and click paste and then OK. And now we're going to go into that folder. Same again, new directory, open your text document and static. Copy and rename the folder or give it a new name and then OK. Right now we're going to go into that folder. Right on my left is uh, my PC and these are the files for the uh, alternative GUI for TV head end. I'm just going to drag them across over to the Raspberry Pi running Libre and that's done. That is everything done now. That's all we had to do. So it wasn't too complicated. There is another way you can add the folders, which is sort of like a command line and it will add in the folders automatically for you. I think I'll do, I'll put a link in the, uh, or a bit of text in the uh, description if you want to do it that way, or just do it the way I just showed you. It's entirely up to you. Right, so that's done. Just gonna minimize. Right, just open up my text document. You need to change this part to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi running Libre. You just need to change that to your IP address. Right now I'm going to copy it all or highlight it all and then copy. Going to open up my browser. Going to right click in the address bar and paste and go. And this is the uh, new GUI. Personally I think it does look and work a lot better than the original. The original will still work. You can have both running at the same time. So I'll go into what's on now. Gives me all the um, information. You see you've got timeline. So you can see what's on for the rest of the week. And all the different channels. I'll just go back. So I'll just click on one and you can set your recordings. I'll just click cancel. Then we go into channels. I can select a channel. Or I'll go BBC One HD. So you've got everything which is on today, uh, everything which is on tomorrow. And at the end, you've got your record and uh, record series. So you've got record and record series. You can also set up favorite channels. I'll show you how you do that in a minute. Let's say you've got your timers for recordings, uh, finished recordings, your series links, got a status page, And then you've got configuration. So you can swap things about if you want to. One thing I do change over is channel sort order. I change it to LCN. So the channels are sorted via the channel number. So you get like BBC1, BBC2, ITV, ITV, ITV. Channel 4, Channel 5. So you get everything in the right order. And down the bottom here, is, this is where you can uh, sort out your favourites. You just highlight them and click to move them across. So you can just have your favourite channels listed. And then you just click save down the bottom right. So I'll just go uh, back to what's on now. As you can see now, they're all listed via BBC 1, 2, ITV. Channel 4, Channel 5, ITV2. It's all like a normal numbering scheme. It's easier to find the channels when they're listed via their numbers. And the timeline. So that's the, uh, a new uh, web GUI for TV head end. 
So as always, I uh, hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.